this episode can be can be the the giggles, the laughs is based with this guy. Basically, it's anime of episode uh, episode seven, uh, reincarnating as a sword, reincarnating as a sword. Now there is gonna be some, some things I definitely do want to talk about with Fran and also the teacher as well too. But I want to I want to talk about I want to talk about uh, the the thing about this guy. This guy, I, I don't know how they draw this guy. I don't know how they did, but they did a really great job. Basically, making a guy he looks like he's he's short kind of he's a short kind of tubby guy. He say like he he detects people that people are. Lion or something like that, like, and he has his, he has this like he uses, uses his like the skill or something like that. Yeah, oh, I can tell, oh, I can tell that you're lying and something like that. I can read your mind and something like that. And you know, it's just basically like this guy, like, oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but it's just, it's just really just something about his character it just really makes me laugh and something like that. I don't see him being really a bad character or something like that. I really don't see him really that much. I just, I just. I just think that I just think that they're just using him just basically actually just for comedy gags and laughs and stuff like that. I don't think he does not really poise a really greater threat to the friend. I really don't think so. I really don't think he's not really of that person. But even though he was trying to give it to Gil Master and say like, yo, this this girl right here, a friend, she's she's lying. She's she's lying. She must go to the dungeon. She must go to go. You know, Somewhere, somewhere else. You know, I, I've heard this from my dad. I don't mean to mean to be off topic, but one thing I definitely want to say: my dad has been to been to other different countries. So, okay, means that means that my dad was in the military, basically in the navy. And my dad would tell me, you know, like uh, if you were to steal, they would chop your hand off, they'd chop your hand. But if you're lying, they chop your tongue off. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. That's that's really real in some other countries, and they they take that very very personal. And and the reason why the reason why they do that because they for one they don't like stealers, two they don't like people lying, and three and three if you're causing trouble in in, in another country, then you're going to get kicked up or probably just go to jail. Or two like you just said, what well, let's get him back and we'll handle him and stuff like that. And you know, even though even though I'm just basically even though I'm just basically I'm just saying that's just. Basically, it feels weird. but I just I just think that this tubby guy is just like basically like he's all so high and mighty. He's a voice voice captain, and he has these people who like him or something like that. And uh, I'm not gonna go into that. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not gonna say really anything further than that because to because of YouTube reasons and stuff like that. But one thing, what they really tripped it trips me out the most is that what when, when the guy was about. When the guy was just leaving, as as all of a sudden, you could just tell the guy just farted <laughs> right there in the, in the hall. It was so funny. It's just that this guy's character is just. I, I think they're like I said. I I really do think they're just used to him. They're just using him for comedy gads and stuff like that. But like I said, for I don't. I don't, I really don't see him a really big threat to Frank. I just really, I just really don't. Or anything like that. But even though Fran thinks Fran says, "Oh, this guy's an undead. What happened to this guy?" And something like that if he feels like he's like itching and stuff like all over his body and like this this guy is really something else and stuff like that. But yes, he is kind of creepy and stuff like that. But even though that that's just that that's that's just based on what they did. You know, not not trying to creep out people out people out based on this anime. I'm not saying that, but it's just basically see how France reacted to this guy and stuff like that. I don't think she doesn't want to hurt the man, but I think I think she just wants just basically just you know basically like, you know just forget about this guy and just let's just move on and stuff like that. And you know I don't think this guy's not one of the main characters basically the same way. I don't think he's really not I don't think he's really not. But like I said but like I said I just don't see him being being a person that will be such a bad person, I just don't, I just don't see that really, really out of it. So yeah, now let's talk about some of the serious things, or some of the, some of the serious things I definitely want to talk about, basically in regards of this episode. Now I will be getting giving you guys spoiler towards towards the ends of the of this um of this anime. So, so yeah, now I definitely, definitely, I want to say this. I definitely do. I want to say is is that um. If you guys don't know the teacher or the the Sora guy, whatever you want to call him or something like that, it seemed to me he had a vision or something like that or or something. I'm not really one hundred percent sure or something like that because it kind of looks like it kind of looks like he was just sleeping. He was just dreaming. 
you know, and then he was dreaming that he was like he was up in heaven or something like that, and and stuff like that, and and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he sees a sword. He sees the sword is right up there, and he also sees these three different, three different women, three different women, and stuff like that. Not, I'm not saying really bad or anything like that, but or anything. But even though I'm just, I'm just based on just uh, like I said for these three different women are basically probably making him as as a sword, or 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 maybe or maybe not. I really just kind of curious about because. I really just kind of like wonder if those three, if those three, those women, has probably made him into a sword. That's that's basically what I'm thinking and stuff like that. But the question is, who these three women really actually are and stuff like that. And to be honest with you, from what I think is that I think each of these uh, of these women, based in this anime, uh, based uh, of these women in this anime, is that I'm, I believe that they are goddesses. That's what. That's what I really actually do think. I could be wrong. I could be right. But even though that's basically that's basically what what it looks to be and something like that, I don't think they're not like God or anything like that. You know, basically, you know, from the Bible or you know, and basically worshiping all that other stuff. Because I mean, it's just that these that these women, I I don't know what what happened or anything like that. Or maybe the teacher must have known what happened with that. And there must be some given some kind of purpose of of why. He was he was turned he was turned into a sword, and what those women really want him to do and stuff like that. So there must be something very important that he that he that he must have do, or maybe there's something maybe there's something maybe he might get summoned, and basically by these by these girls. I I don't know that that's could be possible or something like that. I really don't know. Now I'm also kind of like wondering like what's going to happen to Fran and basically and the sword guy. I mean, because let's just be hypothetical, because you know, and basically, just to be honest with you, I think the sort of guy, I mean, the, or the teacher, whatever you want to call him, I think he's going to be someone again. I think he really actually is, or something like that. But there's, there's must be a very good purpose of a reason why, how, how he had that dream, and why he was dreaming, basically of these women like turning him into a sword, or maybe that was the case, or maybe they must have found found him. And, and stuff like that, or and maybe, maybe that's what they what they did or something like that. So, I, I mean, I really don't know. I really don't know. I think that it was episode one and stuff like that because I'm going to talk about episode one. Okay, this is just my opinion. I think episode one was a little bit rushed. I really do think so because because I mean they just got through got to the point where basically that the, the main MC character he died and you know and and you know he, he got reincarnated reincarnated as a sword. Maybe that's probably what happened. What happened, basically, in his dream, or there must be something more important to that that we really actually don't know. That we actually don't know. Now, to be honest, with you, I love the way this anime really is going. I really, really do. But I want to say, but I really want to say, but I really want to say this. I think Friend is pretty much is pretty. I wouldn't say the the main protagonist, but even though she's the the main female protagonist, based in this anime, and I think that she's a very important person. <coughs> Excuse me. I think that she's a very important person, basically in this anime. I really do think so that she really actually is. So that you know, and some people probably would disagree with me on that. Even though that's fine, even that's fine. But I still, I still want to know what happened to the teacher, and you know, what may, what may have happened, and stuff like that. So, so yeah, and and uh, also, I also also want to talk about the talk about the uh, the blue cat. Uh, Fran must have known, must have known the races or something. And you know, and the one thing, one thing is really kind of, really kind of bothers me about the blue cast is that that the blue cast is that it seems to me. I think that the cat, the the blue cat, he must have known some information. He must have known some information on Fran's family or her people, or something like that. Now there could be a very good possibility that she could be the leader of her people. That could be a very good possibility, but I really don't think that's not going to happen. I really don't think it's really is but because uh, i'm really and wondering like what what's really going to happen i'm getting a feeling that when we get close to the ending of this end of this anime i think there's gonna be a cliffhanger that's gonna be coming i really do think so that's just my opinion because everything just feels like it's going way too simple basically in this anime and then basically this anime because you know because you know seeing friend and the teacher both of them working in pair as a team even though even though it's that, but the question is, question is, how are they able, able going to work with each other, work with each other, you know, being separate, 
you know, because I've heard other different reviews. I'm not going to say who when I said that, but I've heard I've heard some people say, you know, like what will happen if they were both to separate. But even though I I think it does help, I think it does happen, you know, later in the episodes. But yeah, even though I'm just basically I'm just I'm just I'm just I'm just saying. So yeah, so yeah, it was uh yeah, that's it for uh for this and review. I'd love to hear what you guys would say. I don't know if you guys just, if you guys agree or disagree or anything. Some some of the other things about what I said here. And so yeah. Anyways, I love you guys. Take care. Hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Please consider subscribing. Uh, please hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. And please hit the notification button as well too. So some of you, you guys watching my videos. And please leave a comment as well. Anyways, I love you guys. Take care. Hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. God bless. Remember, just love you. I love you guys. Please stay safe. And remember, stay blessed. Love you guys. Take care.